Hi guys, Blake Hernandez here, and we're gonna give away some scissors. So tune in and watch. If you're already watching, share. In order to be included and potentially win a free pair of Elizabeth Gibbs shears, any pair you want, the straights, the curves, the thinners, the chunkers, whatever you want, you will win. If you like, comment, and share this post, okay? So I'm gonna give you some tips, they're gonna be about top knots, but <clears throat> I feel like a lot of the times when we do top knot tips, they're you know someone in a fancier trim or it's just like a full on flop knot. But I feel like we do, okay, so if you guys are uh, watching now, make sure that you like this post, you comment on this post, and you share this post. If you do that, you will win, or you will be entered to win a free pair of Elizabeth Gibbs scissors so you can you know, uh, get a straight, a curved, a thinner, a chunker, whichever of her line you want, you can pick that out. So comment, share, and like. Okay, so Lana, you lazy. Did you see her just laying around? Okay, so I already have her face shaved. I'm gonna go ahead and keep giving you guys time. Go ahead and comment and share if you need to uh, while I get started on this. So I have Lana here, and we're gonna groom her today with all scissors from Scissor of the Month Club. Um, <clears throat> so a lot of the times we have dogs with you know a little bit of crest hair to try to help you know blend it into the body or whatever. Here's the thing: a lot of the times people have dogs that have seven all overs or five all overs or one all over, and they still have to do a top knot. And it's hard to find where to start the back of your top knot and not make it look like a baseball cap. And uh, I figured out this really awesome way that's easy to find on all dogs to find the back of your shape line. So when we turn her around, see this is Lana, and I already have her face shape. I want to show you this like imperative part on the back of her neck. So if you're just now joining us and you want to see um, how you can win some scissors, just make sure to like, comment, and share this post and you'll be entered to win. And it's any of Elizabeth Gibbs scissors. Okay, so, do you guys know how they have those, you, you know that wrinkle that they have on, hi Lana, that they have on their ear? <laughs> well, um, right there, you can't really see it because she's furry, but that little wrinkle just towards the base of their ear. Well, if you take their ears, here I'll get down like this, okay. If you take their ears and you hold those wrinkles, okay, and you put them together, where those wrinkles meet is the bottom back of your top knot. So it'll give you just enough length down the back of the neck so you can get a nice top knot, but um, I'm gonna do it with a really short blade because she's in a retro trim and I shave her neck. But if this was a dog that was in a seven all over, or a five all over, or a four all over, I would still bring those ears together to find that spot, and then take my five blade, burr, right there, okay? So, <clears throat> now to show ya. So just fluff her up, get everything out of the way. Who wants to win some scissors? Comment with an emoji that looks like a pair of scissors. Okay, so I'm gonna take this wrinkle, I can feel it in my hand. I'm gonna take this other wrinkle, I can feel it in my hand, I'm gonna put it right back here. And I know that that spot is gonna be high enough without being too high. Okay, so I'll just go straight across right there. Once I've done that, <clears throat> I'll comb back up and I'll just shape a V going back towards that point. This V gives you just a little bit more elegance and refinement in the shape of your pattern back here. And it helps give you that seamless transition from your shape work into your top knot as you're doing it. So go ahead and sit down, Lana. They want to see the back of your head still. Sit down. <clears throat> Okay, so all this is going to come down, but like I said, this, this pattern here, that you would do if you did a 7, that you would do if you did a 5, it doesn't matter. 
Okay, if you're just joining us, we have a ton of people. Make sure to comment, like, and share this post, and then you'll be entered to win any pair of Elizabeth Gibbs scissors. So that was really the trick I wanted to show you. While we let this video play out, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shape the top knot and see who gets to win, okay? So, I like to give it a little fluff. Comb everything back. And then I'll take a half moon. I know, she, she loves me. Okay, so I just comb everything over the eye. And I like to use a reverse curve. So this is actually from my line of scissors. It just gives me lots of control with an offset handle, but on the other side of the dog. Okay, all the way back to the, the corner of the ear, and that's following the zygomatic arch of the dog's skull. And then switch over to a traditional curved scissor and do the other side. Right now I'm just focusing on the expression, and because of that, I'm not worried about the rest of the top knot. Don't get ahead of yourself. In any part of grooming, you should just be grooming the part that you're trying to groom and not trying to groom the part you're not working on yet. That's when mistakes happen, okay? So now that we've gotten just the expression done, I'll comb everything back, okay? And then doop -a doop -a doop Just basically corner the eye to corner of the eye. I just pull that forward. That way I have a little bit of hangover. And a nice little... Of course the phone's ringing. We're gonna go ahead and let the voicemail get that. All right, so now I've got the front of my, my top knot done and I'm not really gonna worry about anything else. If you're just joining and you wanna win some scissors, like, comment, and share this post and you'll be entered to win, okay? <clears throat> so, put her off center a little bit. And here is Elizabeth Gibbs. Okay, well. I left her a voicemail and I told her Annabelle's ready, so hopefully she's coming. Alright. <laughs> Come everything up and out. First I'm going to use a straight scissor and I just go right over the ear. Okay? Right across. And I like to work towards me so I can make sure that it's even on either side of the top knot. Okay? Then I'll comb everything out of the way, up and over the ear. Then I just worry about the top of the ear here. And this is a curve chunker. So I'll take this curve chunker and I point it right up towards that seam that I just created by the top knot. That way the ear graduates, or the ear hair graduates, you know, gently down the ear leather. It also helps control where the ear is dropping from the head. So look at, you can see how it separates the ear really easily. Yes, it is my fleek scissors. Okay, so now I'm going to comb everything over. And do it again on this side. If you guys are just now joining us, make sure that you like, comment, and share if you want an opportunity to win some Elizabeth Gibbs scissors. Elizabeth Gibbs is a teammate of mine on the Foxy Roxy team. She made a gorgeous line of scissors that have done outstanding. Um, they're a nice size for a standard poodle. Okay, so now I've got all that done. Then you can take, there we go. Some scissoring spray to cut down on static. Okay, and then I give it a little spritz. Comb everything up. And then everything over. And now I'm just gonna lightly touch up everything, following the shape that I started here around the side of the dog's head and over the ear.
Okay? Looking all sideways and floppy. All right, another little flick. Hey guys, if you want to see how I set the back of this top knot neck, which you could totally use on any shave down or any type of all over trim, then you're going to want to watch the beginning of this live. If you've been with me the whole time, like, comment, and share, and you'll be entered to win a pair of scissors. Any of Elizabeth Gibbs scissors. Okay, up, 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 over, over, over. Isn't she just the most perfectest little Lana? Same thing on the other side. So that's where Elizabeth Gibbs scissors really come in handy. Her straights and her curves both have an 88 style handle. Son of a, everyone's trying to call me. Go away. Okay, an 88 style handle, meaning they feel very like comfortable flipping both ways. But her thinners and her chunkers have an offset, so you have lots of comfortability and control as you're trying to get that perfect seamless finish at the end. So amazing. Okay, so now I'm just going to comb everything up and give it a little shake and a shake shake and use a curved chunker over the ear. Same thing on the other side. But now we have to do the back of the top knot because it's not normal. It's not our normal crest fill into the back of the top knot. Lana is such a good baby. <clears throat> so I'll sit her down so you guys can see this. Sit down. Okay. So I'll do a finer comb, and this is the Tsumi comb that has a little bit of that um, like textury rubber stuff, so it kind of pulls. But you'll just pull it over, and I just follow that V shave line right to the back of the ear at first. You know that there should be no hair hanging over any of your shave lines. Ooh, look at how fierce that looks. Yes, scissor that edge. Okay, pull it over. Follow that V all the way back to the onset of ear. Okay. So this next part I kind of have to stand them up for. So I don't know what will be the best angle. Turn a little bit. Okay. And I'll switch back to a wider comb because it's fuller, longer hair. Okay, and then I really do try to pull everything to the back of the head for this part just so that I know what I'm working with. So now we have this like alien bulb head looking thing on the back. Like I call it an alien sack when they're hanging too heavy back there. But you can't shave it off because then it'll have a baseball cap. So you got to take their head and you got to kind of twerk it as forward as much as you can. So they're looking down. And then I get that straight scissor up as tight to that V as I can and go straight up, okay? You don't want to take off hair that you need, but you don't want to leave an alien back. Okay. Now, ah, I just comb to the back of the head. I know nothing should be falling off that. So while it's back there, I'll just soften everything up and make sure that it's all symmetrical. Are you guys commenting? Did you share and tag me in it so I can see it? If you want to win a pair of scissors by Elizabeth Gibbs for free, like, comment, and share. Yeah, there is. It goes down to a heart. Okay, so after I've done all that, I comb everything up. Take the ears, give them a little bloppity blop. Okay. I'm going to smooth out from the front. Okay. And then I smooth out from the side. So I'll just bloop, 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 bloop.
She's getting a little floppy. She hasn't had her head trimmed in a while. Once you've done that, you can still come over to the side again to check any work. But at this point, she's looking pretty, pretty good. All right, this video is gonna end. Make sure that you were able to comment and share while you're watching so that you can be entered to win those scissors. Okay, there we go. So now you've got her top knot and you can see, sit down, a little V on the back of her head and it meets right where those ears go. Bloop. Hug them right back. All right, thanks for joining me. Stick around, check back, and see who wins, all right? Thank you, girls.